Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mackenzie Nelson. If you are new here, I am with my friend Kiara from the Netherlands, and we are in Medellin in Colombia, and we are going to Guatape today. I'm really, really excited about this location. Uh, it's somewhere like I've been imagining going to in Colombia for such a long time, so we're finally going. We're about to take the metro to the bus station. Um, we're gonna go the Poblado metro station to Garibe. Garibe metro station and then the terminal bus station terminal. then the terminal Norte bus station should be right next door so it should be really easy to get there we just packed our like day bags because um, we're only spending one night there and we left our big bags in our hostel that we've been staying at that we'll return hello. to you tomorrow hello <laughs> so put your hand in mine I will be there every day when you're sick So the metro is pretty easy here and it only costs 3,000 Colombian pesos to ride it like as many lines as you want. Really, really easy um, and really cheap. This bus station is humongous. There are so many numbers and I just asked where to go to get to Guatape and a guy told me uh, number five through eight, but I think he mistaken because it's like eight through 12 that you go to to get to Guatape. We did Sotra Penal this like orange and yellow one right behind us and it was 17,000 uh, pesos to get to Kutabe each um, and it's only cash but it leaves in like five minutes so we're gonna try to get some snacks and then go maybe I should tell you guys what Kutabe is and why we're here Kutabe is a town around this lake called um, La Penal, I think. But it's around this really, really pretty lake and it like, has like islands jetting out into the lake and stuff. And there's this like really big rock that people come to climb to see the beauty, the views of the lake. So we're gonna climb the rock tomorrow in the morning and hope that it's less crowded than it would be like right now. Because a lot of people tend to do like day trips from here, but we're doing it overnight. So we get a little bit more advantage, I think, hopefully. Yeah, so Guatape is just one of the little towns around the lake. And it's supposed to be really colorful, really fun. Um, and so we're headed there now. And we're really, really excited. That wasn't bad. That was only like a two hour bus ride. My legs are so stiff though. Look where we are. That's unexpected. <laughs> Hola. Hola. All right, everybody, welcome to the Lakeview Hostel. It was literally $6 to stay here for the night, which is like so good. Um, it's always been like more than $10 recently, so $6, crazy good. Um, and I just got assigned my room. We're in different rooms, me and Kiara. I don't know why that happened, but it's a really good room. Then like a giant closet for yourself and then like look at this mattress this mattress is huge that's gonna be really comfortable i think but i am on the top bunk so that stinks but whatever it's only for one night i think we're gonna make some bagels that we brought and then go explore town <laughs> And it kept saying instead of like pesos, it was in Lucas. That was weird. I don't know. But maybe later. These streets are so colorful and bright. There's like music everywhere too. And plants. What do you think of it, Kiara? I love it. She loves it. <laughs> it's also very bright. The sun just came out. So it's so good because we thought it was gonna rain. Gonna try to keep the pace, but someday we will find that the world has changed, but we stay true to each other. I will always be there for you whenever you need. We just came to this cute little rooftop where we saw everybody was sitting, and it's a cafe, but you can also get beers here too. But I've been craving a good cup of like just a latte, cappuccino, something good. And we got one. We got a latte frio. It's pretty good. I just love all the colors. It's just 
beautiful and very vibrant, very colorful, very fun. This is the cafe, it's called La Vina. There's like inside and then this is the outside. And you can sit right up there. Good evening, everybody. Me again. We're trying to find some dinner and it's very quiet out on the streets right now, but I think most places close at like seven or so. So we're trying to find just like a local restaurant, but we can't find much. So I'll let you know what we find. Like it is so quiet right now. This is the busy street earlier. It is extra colorful right now. <sighs> okay, we found a place. It is actually the place that we came up to to look at the live music earlier and then left. Uh, but it's the folklore <laughs> and I went for a burger and I'm never a burger person but it looks really really good and she got this like hot dog looking thing but it just started like pouring rain now it's kind of drizzling but we're really hoping by the time that we leave that it's not raining as much but what up to we just called it tuk tuk on the street because it was raining and it never stopped raining and they said it's gonna rain all night and so we sat there as long as we could to wait for the rain to stop, but it's just not going to. So we called it Tuk Tuk for 4,000 together, so that's pretty good, uh, just to our hostel. Good morning everybody from Guatape. Today is the day we're going to climb the rock, but first we're going to eat some breakfast. We just wanted to stay at the hostel and get a quick breakfast. We got some French toast with fruit and it looks amazing. So we're gonna eat that up and then go to like the center of town to find a tuk tuk to the rock. I'm calling it the rock, but I think it's called like La Piedra La Pena. I'll put the name, of course, right here. And I'll tell you the real name later. La Piedra, yeah, yeah. How much? Quatro pesa. Six thousand each, that's like three dollars together. That's not bad. We could, again, we could have negotiated and Probably. here I am like, okay, okay. But here there's a sign. Oh yeah, okay, so it's, it's uh, always 12,000. Uh, so I guess there's like a set price. So um, 12,000 for both of us to get to the rock. Love to hear that. Hola. Buenos dias. Dos. It's 20,000 pesos to get in. You get like a nice ticket. It's also like right at the base of like all the steps. You really can't miss the ticket box. Hola. Oh, yeah. I didn't know we needed our vaccine to enter. I think like that or like you have to wear a mask. Oh, here comes the steps. Starts right away. I don't want to look at the view yet until we get to the top. First hundred, two hundred. What is that? It's saying two hundred, but I think these are the steps going down because it's like counting going down. And they're working on these ones that are the ones going up. So I think we only have two more steps, two hundred more steps. And I'm out of breath. Six hundred twenty-five. I'm seriously not looking at the view, but I think we're there. How are you? Here? 675 is it worth wow <laughs> this is so beautiful i'm gonna make you guys wait a little longer <laughs> such a Whoa. weird shape like yeah it's just like water and roads and islands and so cool we're on top of a giant rock right now. Who would have thought that this would be the thing that makes most people come to Colombia? It's a giant rock. But I can see why, it's worth it. It's beautiful, I mean even the town itself is beautiful. I definitely recommend coming here at, what time is it? We got here at like 8.30, started climbing around 8.30 and then now it's 9.10. Definitely come around this time, there's nobody here. And I think it's gonna be like super crowded later, even on the stairs. But we were just able to walk at our own pace, go up and there was only a few people and there's like nobody here. So definitely come early if you can. We're getting ice cream at 9.10 in the morning. Woo woo. This is. Okay, I got the cocoa. Take two. I got the cocoa. How's your ice cream at 9 in the morning? Really good. So we just discovered this like upper bit, so we're gonna try to go find it. I don't know how we missed this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
708. Oh yeah, this is much better. I mean, it's all great, but this is much better. <laughs> that is Guatapi Town. Okay, I think we're about to head out, but I definitely recommend coming in the morning and I definitely recommend coming to Guatape and spending the night so that you could come up in the morning the next day. It was a perfect 24 hours, not even, but um, yeah, we're gonna like head away from Guatape now and head down the rock and get back to Medellin for a fun night of partying because it is King's Day. Our duchy here <laughs> celebrates King's Day for the King's birthday in the Netherlands. They're throwing a big party at the Los Patios hostel today in Medellin so we're gonna go celebrate not my king her king's <laughs> birthday and it should be fun perfect timing a tuk tuk is coming right when we need it like right when we're walking down so we're gonna hope that we could jump in this one we're just walking through town now and there is nobody here when there was so many people yesterday but I, I once again highly suggest coming to spend the night and then walk around in the morning because like literally nobody in any of these streets other than locals and they're gonna get out your pictures but it's it's beautiful right now and it's so colorful i love it everywhere i'm kind of sad to be leaving yeah it's a fun time it's really fun yeah, all right as we're walking to the bus station i'm gonna end this vlog thank you so much for watching i had so much fun the past two days in guatape i definitely recommend coming here it's very touristy in a sense but really really cool and really worth it but anyways i'll see you guys in the next vlog which will be in hardin in colombia i still have a while in colombia so stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!